BG has minimized Turk's contribution to the group, which has further tempered fan enthusiasm about the prospect of a full-blown Hot Boys reunion. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Birdman attempted to reunite with Cash Money more precisely, the Hot Boys group at the Essence Festival. Regretfully, things did not turn out well for him. At the New Orleans event, possibly the biggest star of them all, Lil Wayne, performed by himself. Although it appears like Wheezy was okay with reuniting with his group, who can say for sure at this point. There's also the conflict between BG and Turk. Since the aborted reunion, these two have been corresponding online. If you try to do a reunion without Wheezy, it wouldn't work. You try to do a reunion without Juve, it wouldn't work. Every other member of the Hot Boys crew was present, despite the fact that they did not all rock the stage simultaneously. Turk was the only one who did not turn up, claiming that business problems were the main reason. Turk seems fine with staying out of the group, so the justification is a little flimsy. You like the fucking Michelle or the little toy luck of the group, man. He clapped back at BG for criticizing his absence from Essence, expressing his true views. I'll say FK a hot boys tour, and a disrespect won't be tolerated, and a I don't give a FK who Ann is. Ain't no big as or lil use over me, main. BG better sit his mother F King a down somewhere, man. That Anna don't run ST round here, not with me, Turk vehemently expressed. If motherfucking Beyonce and motherfucking Kelly. BG is now repaying the favor in a somewhat severe way. He took some time to get to the point, but this is what he said in a recent interview. Do a Destiny Child reunion and Michelle ain't there, man. Nobody right. gonna miss her like that. In summary, the rapper from Louisiana suggests that Hot Boys wouldn't be the same without Wayne, Juvenile, or him. Nobody would be concerned, though, if Turk declined the chance indefinitely. BG even caught Latoya Luckett of Destiny's Child straying when he likened his Turk to the R and B diva being left out of the group. At this moment, it appears that a Hot Boys reunion record is a remote possibility. Without a doubt, Lil Wayne is the biggest talent to emerge from Cash Money. When it comes to the legacy of the label, Wheezy is the main draw, even though Juvenile has classics and Birdman road coattails. That's why his absence at the most recent Cash Money reunion was so loudly felt. Wayne was already at the Essence Festival, where the reunion took place, which made the situation worse. He just wouldn't go on stage to commemorate Cash Money's 30 years. Rather, he bided his time and gave a solo performance following the conclusion of his previous Previous label. Funny story, I got hit up by somebody. On July 7th, Lil Wayne took to Instagram Live to share his version of events. Sort of, anyway. Rather than expressing regret or providing a rationale for his absence, he recounted a story. By the text me, you're wrong. You know you should have came out. You know you should have came out. Interesting tale, the rapper clarified. Wrong, Wayne. You had all these fucking fans out here. You ain't coming. You know you should have came here. Wheezy didn't dismiss the notion that he ought to have gone, but he also didn't give it any thought. Instead, he spoke with the person who messaged him in a lighthearted manner. I'm like, what you talking about? The rapper recalled while smiling. The after party or something. Although it is obvious that Lil Wayne has no desire in going back in time, that does not imply he harbors animosity toward the other members of the label. He gave a generic shout out to all the artists that performed at the Essence Festival, but he didn't specifically identify Juvenile, Manny Fresh, or BG. Although there have been long-running rumors of a prospective Hot Boys reunion album, Lil Wayne claims to be unaware of them. When the rapper was questioned about it during a recent appearance on the Not Just Football podcast, he questioned some of Juvenile's earlier statements. Juvenile announced on Instagram Live in May of this year that they were working on their first album in more than 20 years. Although Juvenile might have connected with some of the other Hot Boys, Lil Wayne maintains that he hasn't contributed anything to the project. That's what he said. I ain't been to the kitchen yet. I would not lie to you, I have not been in that kitchen yet, he said. I have no problem with going to that kitchen. But I ain't smell it, it ain't come through the window yet. I ain't smell the food they ain't told me nothing yet. Thankfully, Lil Wayne appears amenable to participating in a reunion album, even though we don't currently know much about it. He should be in contact with Juvenile and the other members shortly to finalize the specifics. Juvenile gave an update on the much-awaited performance in a recent interview with TMZ. He didn't give away too many details, but he did say that, provided all goes as planned, it is undoubtedly happening. I, I, you know, with me, I'm always saying it's gonna happen. He said of the reunion. We gotta let him simmer down a little bit. Trust me, it's happening. The artist seems to be alluding to BG, as dis of Lil Wayne on his finest time song Gangstified. Regarding a possible Hot Boys reunion, BG has messaged Lil Wayne to stop playing, ordering him to quit being in the group. Despite his recent dissing of Wayne, the New Orleans native, who was freed from prison late last year, made it clear in an Instagram live that he wants the rap trio to change. He said, and we is eight. I'm playing, man. Big bag involved. I know you super rich. I know you like Taylor Swift out here. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Fans reacted negatively to BG's request for a Hot Boys reunion because of his previous remarks regarding Lil Wayne. One said, Sir, you can't diss the man and want him to help you get to a bag. 
He doesn't need that bag like you do. Being humble will get you far lol. Another joked, Wayne be on his mind every second of the day and Wayne just thinking about coochie and drugs. In a song titled Gangstified, which he co-wrote with Finus BG, targeted his former cash money label mate. The New Orleans native rapped on the cut. When my nigga Weezy steady torn, but he's a bitch and it's showing. I'm still a living legend, don't act like you didn't know it. Additionally, there are speculations that cash money was involved in the snitching allegations made against BG. Although those are merely conjectural, many fans had a lot to say regarding this fresh perspective. No Lil Wayne slander shall be tolerated. Fuck BG, one passionate fan expressed on Twitter. Who the hell is this and why do we think he can diss Lil Wayne? Another chimed in, who's probably unfamiliar with their career trajectories. BG, throwing a shot at Lil Wayne is whack to me, one fan posited, elaborating further on why the diss might have happened in the first place. If it's about the whole tour thing, it doesn't make sense to do a hot boy tour. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.